Namaste everyone and welcome to Data Millennials. Hey everyone, welcome back to our Google Data Studio series. In this video, I am going to show you how you can connect your Google spreadsheet or your Excel files with Google Data Studio. So first of all, we will go to our Google Data Studio okay, by going to datastudio.google.com. Then we will have the blank report and the other reports, sample reports given by Google, right? So what we need to do is that we need to add our data sources so what we can do is that either we can click on this create button and then we can click on data sources here you will see multiple options of data sources which you can connect with if you scroll down you will see a lot of systems but currently we are interested in google google sheets and excel file right so I have created this Google Sheet data where I have a transactional data, sample transactional data, which has city, date of transaction, card type, this is the credit card type, expense bill, sorry, sorry, ex expenditure type, gender, amount, and what is the customer number. So one of the things that you need to make sure is that Google Data Studio takes date in a specific format, which is four times Y, that is year, then two times month and two times of D which is date so we have converted this date column column B in this particular format here so that we can upload or reflect our data based on dates also so we have this transaction data and we have this customer detail similarly we will have same file will be on our local system also for transaction data and we'll upload it on our Google Data Studio. Okay. So what we'll do is that we will click on Google Sheets. Okay. And then we have to give an authorization to Google Data Studio to read our Google Sheets first. So I'll click on Authorize. So it will open a pop-up where it will ask you to give choose your account. Okay. And then based on your account you can select all the google sheets which is present on your on that particular email id so i'll select my email id then currently i have two google sheets here this one is gds data and there is another sheet so as you can see the name here is gds data i'll i'm interested to import this data in google data studio so once i click on it I have the list of worksheets which is present in our Google Sheet. So the first sheet is customer detail and the second sheet is transaction. So if you see in this Google Sheet data, the first, first tab is customer detail and the second tab is transactional. Okay. So I want my customer detail first. So I'll click on it. Then it will give you few options. The first option is use the first row as header. I know that my data has headers and the first row is header so i'll keep this checkbox ticked now the second one is include hidden and filtered cell this means that google data studio is asking you whether you want to import your filtered data as well as unhidden uh, sorry hidden files if you do not want google data studio to import filtered and hidden columns or rows then you can uncheck this but i would suggest you to always keep this one checked so that you can have the entire data set imported into your google data studio now if there is a scenario where you want to import only a certain range for example it's showing here a1 till b52 right if you want to import a certain range then you can give the range here for example if i want my data to be imported for this particular range which is from a1 till h7 then i can put here a1 to h7 okay now the next thing is that i have to click on this connect button so i'll click on it and it will start connecting my data source to google data studio so you can see here once i clicked on connect then it will show me the dimensions and matrices so my first dimension is google customer name and customer number and the matrices it get automatically picked as the record count so if i go to my customer detail tab okay and i go to my top i can see that i have only two columns which is customer number and customer name so this seems fine this seems correct right 
so customer name is text and customer number is a number right then if you want to add another field then you can click on it or if you want to add another parameter you can click on it you can see here the data credential is owner as i am the owner of that particular google sheet so it's showing me owner data refreshness is set, is showing 15 minute if you click on it you will have four different options the first one is 15 minute which is default the second one is every one hour every four hour and every 12 hour so for example if your data is getting refreshed after every certain time after a four hour or after five hour then you can select the refresh of data based on these four options so i'll select every 15 minute or let's see let's select every 12 hour okay and i'll click on this set data refreshness okay this is community visualization access off this means that i'm not giving access to the community for visualization of this data then if you want to put this option field editing in reports so field editing in reports means that if you want to edit the field within report then you have to keep it as on otherwise you can keep it as off okay then what you need to do is that you need to click on create report or you can click on explore so if i click on create report what it will do is that with that data which i have added as my data source it will start creating a blank report for me you can see once i did that you will have a name here which is name which is untitled report and by default what google data studio would do is that it would pick up a dimension out of your data attributes and by default it will show you the record count okay now this is the first way of adding data source in your google data studio so what we did was that we had gone to we initially we clicked on this plus button and then we clicked on this data source right now you for example you have already worked on some of the reports okay and you want to add data then what you can do is that you can click on this add data then you will again get this options from where you can select your data source and you can increase the size of this one also now the another way of adding data is that you can go to resources then click on manage added data sources here you will see that you have already this data gds data and within this gds data we have this customer detail right now if i want to add another data source or another sheet of this google another sheet from this google uh, google sheets then what i can do is that i can click on this add a data source then again i'll click on google sheets then within this g i'll click on this gds data and then i'll click on this transaction sheet okay i'll keep these options and then i'll click on add so now once this data source will be added on my google data studio then i'll have two data sources the first one is customer detail and the second one is transaction so once it's completed then you can click on this edit button to see the data source the, the dimensions and the matrices now this one date google data studio automatically detected detected it as date and will show it as th in this format while we had created this date to column so that we i can show you that this kind of format is required in google data studio okay now if you see this amount you will see that it's a number and the default aggregation is sum so by default google data studio assumes that whenever you would use this amount you would require the sum of the amount you can change it by clicking on this small drop down value sorry small drop down and you can select these statical functions sum average count distinct count max min median standard deviation or variance so whenever you will use this amount it will show you if you select sum if it will always show you sum if you select average so by default it will always always show you average of the amount right okay so i'll click on finish and my data source is embedded in google data studio for this particular report so this one i have added the second one transaction is added for this particular report it's not really reusable if i want to make it reusable then i have to click on this button make reusable okay and i can again it will i it will give me option for either i can make it reusable so i'll click on this make reusable 
so what it will do is that it will add this sheet this google sheet transaction into my data sources okay so i'll close this and then the next point that i have to show you is how to add data from a google sorry from an excel file right so in order to add an excel file as your data source what you need to do is that you have to put that excel file onto your google drive and then you have to follow the same process as we have followed for google sheets to add it as a data source so we have reached at the end of this video in our next video i'll show you how you can refresh your data hey if you find this video insightful then do check out other videos and hit the like and subscribe button